keeps changing. Enjoy, man. <laughs> That's gonna be good, after all. It's been, uh, it's been way, way too yeah. long, to be honest. Yeah. Just that I'm, uh, I am live right now, but I'm not sure if you are live. Uh, but probably since you're on this call too, Fazi, you it's are live. Access. Access. <laughs> <Excess. laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> uh, I'm actually looking at my, uh, I'm sharing my screen, so I'm gonna just put Facebook right here and uh, mm. share, keep sharing the big screen right here. So I can keep... Um, the overview yeah. of the, yeah. the comments we were just talking about. So we got one viewer, it might be me, might be you. I'm not even sure um, where we are in the process. We yeah, we've got uh, three. One is you, one is me, and we have a third one. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, guys, um, well, uh, Fazi, what do you think about this uh, upcoming live? Well, it's been a really long time since uh, we have not done any live on uh, on the group. Uh, I've actually been missing this moment where we share thoughts between uh, the community and uh, I see yeah. behind Clever Messenger. I still remember uh, the first time we, we were uh, doing a live and we were uh, both nervous, uh, <laughs> very, very jumpy, and uh, everything uh, went wrong. Um, yeah. To be honest, we, we, I think we uh, quickly learned that these types of, or these moments actually are very, very uh, fruitful um, and fun. Um, it allows us to connect with the community, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Get a lot of feedback, uh, helping us. Uh, or allowing us to uh, to improve Clever Messenger as well. Um, yeah, just keeping this touch base between the communities uh, is really important. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think that we also raise some of the uh, engagement to the group, throughout the group. Now we have Vasily, Paco Vantrova. <laughs> We're missing these faces. <laughs> there, you go, there you go. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool, guys. Nice. Trying to see if I can open up this thing. With hey, Marco, been a long time. <laughs> and, uh, cool. Hey, Vasily. Hey, Ebb, Ebb, I think. Ebb means. Yeah, Ebb. I would say Ebb. I think um, uh, he's from Scand yeah, the Scandinavian, so I, it would probably be Ebb or Abby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, probably we will get a uh, feedback there about the pronunciation. Yeah, that would be good. That's uh, anyway, you welcome to guys. Do. Thanks Is for that... for uh, yeah. for coming on. Uh, we hope to get some more people on. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a generic uh, generic live. Uh, as you can see right here on the on the screen, uh, you can actually uh, see that it reads chatbot 101 Q and A. Ask us anything about Clever Messenger. And um, that's what this is about. And we do have uh, some questions uh, for you as well. And one of those questions is uh, right here on uh, the second or the third uh, uh, bullet point right there where it says, what do you guys want to see out of the next lives? But that's something we are going to uh, talk about. Uh, if you do, uh, if you are in a hurry and you uh, want to uh, already mention what you guys would like to see then just drop something into the comments and uh, we're more than happy to take a look at it later yeah. um but i guess fancy just let's just dive in uh, right away we just got five people on uh, it's i think still fairly uh, fairly early in the in the states where the the majority of our um yeah. community is uh, from i think 80 88 percent is coming from the states right yeah, I think with that said, we still we have to do another poll. I think last time we did a poll to come up with this time. Now I think we need this time to update this. See like what a, like a time, the best time. Yeah, what's the best time for the life that will fit most of our community members? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm more than happy to uh, to do it later in the day for me. Right now, hmm. I think it's six p.m. or what? No, 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 five p.m. Five. <laughs> we Dutch, we like Dutch six, people, uh, and Wassily knows this. We Dutch people actually eat at five p.m. Right? 
we already go to bed at nine. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how that is for the for the German people out there, Marco. But um, yeah. Um, anyways, let's just dive in right away, mm -hmm. uh, guys. If you guys um, got any questions, just shoot them. Uh, it's going to be a very very loose live. Um, Again, it's a Q and A. We do not have any uh, guidelines, uh, as far as I know, for this uh, specific uh, life. Um, but we do have a couple of things we want to talk about, and um, yeah, just use this live as a first one to uh, touch uh, touch base uh, with you all of you guys. Uh, it's a shame that uh, the last one uh, of last week didn't uh, uh, went uh, yeah wasn't there. We had some personal issues we had to take care of, but that's um, that's uh, that's live, I guess. Life got in the way, and um, uh, now we're here and uh, making sure that uh, we pick up where uh, pick up where we left off. So I guess um, what we uh, first want to discuss is um, the theme days. Um, yeah. Do you want to take? Uh, take over Fazi and talk a, a little bit about it or you want me to uh, just yes go uh do i have do you have that in the next uh there this is the only slide so this is uh, okay yeah <laughs> we need to do this uh Fazi. we uh yeah. and excuse so, us guys we had a we had a team call uh, before this um and we had to rush this so there's only two slides mm -hmm. um and um, yeah, so it's these two slides and uh, our pretty faces. You have, and uh, that just has. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I can talk about the same days. So uh, as you probably have seen during the last week, uh, you have been. It started like two weeks ago from the end of uh, the previous week, and the last week. So we are starting to have specific posts on specific dates. And what you're going to expect is the following. So on Monday, you will always have what we call a feature or a integrations day. So every Monday, you will expect to see a new feature released from the Clever Messenger team or a native integration released, which uh, is also what we can actually put it under the features umbrella. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have seen this already uh, from the past two weeks where we had the live chats I mean, two weeks ago on Monday, we had the live chat uh, policy changer feature. Then uh, we had this week Clevo integration. So as you saw, that was a feature. And then on the next week, it was an integration. And we want to keep it that way. Always have a feature on one week, have an integration on the next week, then have a feature on the next one and integration of the next one. And it will continue like this. Obviously, if there is no feature then that would be an integration because we have a lot of integrations in uh, in our stock and that we're going to release uh slowly so behind that uh, you will get the uh you will get an overview or you get a sense of what we're doing there inside clever messenger team uh to the, specifically the development team uh from for the features and the integrations and you will always keep looking for something each uh, each week. Now the next day is Tuesday. Obviously, Tuesday is come after Mondays. In today's words, I hope that this will not change uh, in the near future. Well, <laughs> everything uh, nowadays feels like a Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> feels like one long Tuesday. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, I, I guess me um, on Tuesday, we are going to release a new blog post um, uh, each and every Tuesday that is. And um, this blog post will um, uh, reveal a, a little technique or a, a little idea, uh, something you can use uh, in your chatbot marketing as well. And um, yeah, it's basically uh, all revealed in that blog post. Uh, we got a, uh, a ton, a really a ton of uh, uh, posts scheduled uh, to, go out, to go out on each and every uh, Tuesday, which is really cool. Um, and I do want to mention that even though these are theme days, we are adding more, um, even more to, to the mix. So each and every, uh, and I'm now I'm going ahead of myself a little bit, each and every, uh, um, I should say, end of the month, so at the 30th of the month, we are going to do a, a, a monthly digest as well, 
why are we uh, just give you all uh, all the, the, the fine details that we released. Uh, so that will include all the features and integrations we did on each and every Monday for that month, all the blog posts, uh, all the, all the uh, links to the trainings we did, uh, the improvements and all that stuff. So that's um, something that's coming as well. So even if you miss like one week of updates, you will still uh, get the entire digest at the end of the month. Uh, I think that's cool as well. Um, but again, uh, I uh, go ahead of myself right here. Um, then we got Wednesday, uh, which is obviously today as well, where we did training um, and Q&A um, or have uh, some, yeah, like a general chit chat, what we are doing right now and uh, just uh, revealing some stuff, what we think is going to be um, uh, cool and uh, stuff that we would like to communicate to you guys. Um, we do have a question about this. Uh, and again, uh, we already asked this uh, at the start of this live, but uh, seeing that there's more people online uh, or watching this live right now, I'm just going to ask it again. Um, what do you guys want out of the next live? So we do got some ideas for training. We do, uh, we can do a general Q and A uh, each and every uh, Wednesday, but we do want to um, excel uh, past that, just not, I mean, I, I really love the value and I really love um, doing a, a Q&A, but uh, doing actual training and uh, catering you guys uh, on what you guys actually want um, is, um, is something we would like to do uh, more and uh, prefer to do as well. Um, so yeah, that's, again, guys, that's, uh, that's a question right there for you as well. What do you guys want to see out of the next lives? Then on uh, Thursday, I guess, Fauzi, that's you again. It's Bug and Improvement Day. Um, yes. So uh, we like to keep to keep this uh, separate from features, integrations, and bugs so that you guys get the feeling that we are always fixing bugs that are happening in the platform and uh, are listening to your requests that are coming from the supports about bugs or improvements or propositions that are uh, that are uh, specific to our city development team as well. So each Thursday, you would expect a set of bugs that were reported and that were fixed uh, during the uh, after after uh, being reported, actually. Yeah. That will give you a sense of uh, improvements. And this is something that we try for, which is always improving the, yeah. the platform, Clever Messenger. Yeah. And we are uh, discussing a whole day for this, uh, so that you can actually see that happening in front of your eyes. Yeah, uh, for example, uh, tomorrow is Thursday, right? And uh, perhaps yeah. we can already use this uh, as an example, Fazi. Um, uh, I know that one of our uh, fine developers has already um, uh, fixed a bug, which was uh, the Persona bug on live chat. Uh, we just had a, a team call about this uh, as well, and he already fixed it. So that will probably um, be added into uh, tomorrow's report so that you can actually see what that particular bug was uh, and uh, how it was fixed and uh, what it actually uh, uh, was. So that's uh, something uh, that is uh, about, yeah, that's basically what first day is about, about um, Clever Messenger improvements, um, bugs that were um, found by the, uh, uh, by the community and fixed by our developers. And then Friday, we got uh, template day. Template day, that's an exciting one. Always the best day, I guess. <laughs> we know how much you love the place, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so template day is like, um, um, previously we did, I think at the third week of each and every month, we released like uh, 10 templates um, um, in a, yeah, at once. Um, so there was... Yeah. Uh, in a batch, one batch actually had uh, like 10 templates. But um, as we would like to um, uh, give you early access to all these templates we are creating, and we got a bunch uh, of them already done in the pipeline, uh, we thought it would be um, better to just release them um, in smaller pieces. Like uh, what we are going to do right now is basically release three templates each and every Friday. Um, this basically allows you to get um, your hands on them uh, way earlier than um, just waiting for a month uh, each and every every time. So um, yeah, we hope we definitely hope that uh, uh, 
it's actually uh, is appreciated. So each and every uh, Friday, you will get three templates, uh, three new templates. And I think um, uh, the team is actually working on uh, some uh, other different kind of templates as well. Plus, uh, I know that there is a feature coming, um, which is a very elaborate web view, web view feature, which we are going to talk slightly talk about uh, as well in just a bit. But um, that web view, um, yeah, I will talk about that in just a bit, but that will actually, uh, yes. once we release that feature, all the templates actually need to be updated so that the templates are actually of uh, even more value to you guys. But uh, I guess we talk about that in the uh, next uh, next bullet point, which are the big feature updates. So I'm gonna yeah. just grab. There were, were a couple of features you wanted to talk about, right? I'm actually yeah, I'm, excited for all of them. So yeah, first I think we need to get feedback here from from you guys about Team Days. What do you think about them? Yeah. Uh, anything you would like to add? Anything you'd like to see changed? We would love to hear about that. I know some of you will probably think about the Saturday and the Sunday days. Uh, sorry about that. This this will not happen. So <laughs> we would love to also add uh, some other stuff on the weekend, but weekend is weekends, right? Oh, if we have got some leftovers, and we do. I mean, we're we're currently working on a lot of stuff, right? So uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so if you get any any suggestions there, please uh, let us know. We'll be happy to, to address them. If not, then we can move or easy to the next point with some of the big features and updates that are coming up. Next. Cool. Vasily actually says, uh, show them the omni-channel strategy. I guess that's um, uh, working with Messenger um, and uh, SMS and email. Uh, it's something we can do uh, definitely on our next live. It's something we need to plan in, uh, though. Um, we do this through uh, integrations. Our um, competitors actually uh, do this natively, which I think is a stupid idea. Um, but uh, we can definitely show uh, show you guys how um, that looks like uh, from on our on our end. So uh, I guess next live we can do something about that as well. There's also uh, a particular integration I would like to show off. Uh, so there's more than enough. So guys, if you uh, even if you are watching this on a, a later time zone or a later time, um, yeah. then just give us the feedback. If you again, I'm just going to ask it, uh, ask you guys. Uh, what do you guys want out of the next life? Is it training? What specific training? Uh, and more and more and more. Just so, um, yeah. Just just let us know, guys. Um, mm -hmm. So I think it's safe to assume that we need to move to the next point, yeah. which is the big feature and updates that we we have for our, for our community. Yeah. Uh, pretty I'm just exciting. Drop it right here, uh, Fauzi. It's already dropped, but I'm not sure. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Awesome. So as you can see, some big things uh, there. Stefan is actually writing. So we have the web views, just to go over them all. Web views up here, native Google Sheets and team roles. Now, each of these features is big enough to uh, have life about it. So I will uh, really go really quick about this and try to describe it uh quickly so web views now web views allow you to have to uh, have a consistent uh, experience across messenger so you can create rich experiences uh, using the web but inside messenger itself without leaving messenger meaning that uh, you can have uh, whatever you can have on the web like with web technologies right inside Messenger, uh, right on the same place. So we actually wanted to take use of that and have some native web views that are pre-built for you and uh, that you can actually, that can give uh, your bots uh, more value. So one of them is the date time picker and the date picker. Uh, we have the location web view and the videos uh, web views, which will be for the uh, for Vimeo and for YouTube. Mm -hmm. What that means is that right inside your bots, uh, you can schedule 
an appointment, for example, and you will not have to ask your subscribers to write a specific dates with uh, a specific format because that used to be how things worked. And it can we, still work that way, right? Yes. That's, not that's necessarily that it replaces that, right? Of course. Yeah, it's just something that will make the experience uh, easier. So is that... <clears throat> So instead of having to tell your subscribers to write a specific date in uh, monthly, then day and year formats, mm -hmm. that can go wrong sometimes. They will just have to click a button, for example, book appointments, <clears throat> and they will see a date picker or date time picker where they can select uh, a date at the time. They confirm that with you and it's, uh, it saves into the custom field of your choice. So we don't have time zones will be taken care of automatically, formats will be taken care of automatically as well. So you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. You only have to book and you're done. So that I think that will make things uh, much more smoother. Now, one of the immediate use cases of this will be inside the templates, just like Stefan mentioned. We have a lot of templates in the marketplace. Most of them have a booking, uh, yeah, booking feature or reservation feature, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So all of these will be upgraded from the uh, from asking your subscriber about the dates to uh, let them then let them then pick that particular date inside the web view. Mm -hmm. Now the next one will be about the location. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there used to be a very nice. Uh, web view right from Facebook, which was the location web view that allowed you to easily share your location. Now that was gone because Facebook decided that that, that feature made their uh, essential plus for so. <laughs> I'm not sure how or why. <laughs> These are choices. Yeah. Now we had to come up with some alternative to that. And that will be the location web view where you will be able to select your location. Again, you see it on the map, you confirm your location and you click on send, then uh, it is sent to your bot and you can uh, do again, the same. And it will be updated in, uh, in the templates as well. So yes. we do, uh, previously we actually had like a, a directions um, flow or which uh, calculated the directions uh, using Google uh, Maps, I guess. Uh, from um, uh, the input the uh, subscriber actually put in. But again, as, as Fauzi mentioned, Facebook actually uh, um, stopped uh, developing that feature, the, their location feature. And uh, we had to do updates throughout all the templates there as well. Now uh, we thought it would be cool to actually bring this back again. Um, and uh, under a web view, we are managing, so it will probably stay there forever. Um, but yeah, also this location web view uh, will also be added back to all the templates we we got out there. So currently, mm -hmm. we, I think we got like 130 templates right now, all in different niches. Uh, the team is going to uh, update each and every uh, template uh, with utmost care, um, adding the date and time picker uh, and adding the location card uh, or web view, I should say. Uh, there as well. So that's going to be pretty, pretty amazing. And that should increase the value of the templates way, way more. Why? Uh, because uh, again, previously, all, only for the time picker and the date picker, previously people had to type it in right there. Uh, there's a, a very, very big risk that people just uh, uh, make a typo and then they need to redo the entire stuff, making it very likely that they will drop out of the conversation and all that stuff. Now, you simply uh, they simply need to click on a button. Uh, you, they pick out the time uh, from that web view uh, and the date, and that's it. It's like a very, very easy, uh, easy task. So it's going to increase um, uh, the, the, the likelihood of... Um, making uh, more successful uh, bookings. Um, yeah, so I hope that makes sense. We do not have uh, actual um, imagery right here or videos which we can actually show. Uh, the, the, the WebFuse feature has been in development uh, for a while now. And uh, we finally, I think we got a system that actually allows us to uh, go very, very fast with this as well. Um, meaning that mm. I think I'm not, I'm now I'm I'm now speaking uh, out of turn. I think uh, Fauzi, but I think that once we got this done, we can easily create more and different web views 
uh, as well, right? To yeah. just ramp out all these yeah. different kind of ideas we could go in. Yeah. 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 Uh, there are a lot of ideas about web yeah. views that can make uh, your bots experience uh, very rich mm -hmm. and we'll be implementing them. It will be something like the integrations. First, we came up with the integrations and we kept on adding native integrations, same thing. Now we have a web view system and each time you will see, uh, uh, we will have a dedicated team for the web, web views. View day then, <laughs> yeah, sorry? We should have a web view day, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we should, <laughs> we should probably get on with it. <laughs> then we will have, uh, I think at some point we will just have feature integration with you that will happen on each week. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we'll get there at some point. Okay. Now, uh, to move uh, to the remaining web views that we have for you, and they are the videos web views, which will be from Vimeo and from uh, YouTube. That will allow you to, for example, unlock certain flows or certain messages after your subscriber watches a particular video of your choice. So we keep track of the, the watch uh, progress once the video is actually at the end of, uh, of its time, meaning the, the subscriber has viewed all of your video, then you can simply uh, send them a message. We will have actually under the web view card for the, for the, uh, for the video. So we are having a connector that uh, you can link, for example, the video watch connector that you can connect to any card of your choice. So that's when your subscriber finishes your video, then they will go to the, or they will receive the message or the flow that is linked to that uh, video watched connector that you've set inside your that's web. Really, that's really cool. I mean, just imagine guys like, um, uh, your subscriber clicking on the button uh, ready to watch the video. It's a short little video and uh, the video just finished. I, again, this is on YouTube and on, uh, on Vimeo. Uh, and once it finished, or uh, I think we can even uh, develop more stuff into this, like a certain time frame where they dropped off and we can then do uh, more stuff. But right now, yeah. uh, once they finish the video, uh, you can actually uh, uh, send a message right there um, asking what they what they've actually thought about that video or uh, just continuing um, uh, the conversation as is. Uh, there's a lot of things you can actually do with uh, that. I can see this working a lot for training training bots, something like what uh, Coursera does. So you unlock parts of your courses once uh, they know that you finished uh, the video that is uh, oh, next to the cool idea. Yeah. 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 Nice. Cool. So that's about the web views in a nutshell. Uh, you will get more details once uh, we release those. Mm -hmm. Now we have, we will also have the beta version of our Zapier uh, native integration. Finally, <laughs> we've, been... <laughs> 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 we've been getting requests for a Zapier integration. I, we know that you guys, we did actually a poll last time. Uh, with what do you prefer, like a Zapier integration or native integrations? And we got. Uh, we got, uh, we came to the conclusion that you guys wanted native integrations actually, which is good. Yeah. And this is something that we always had in our vision, like mm -hmm. always have the native integrations first, then Zapier will come later. But then uh, we also don't want to forget about those in our community who also want Zapier to be there. So we decided to uh, go with it, have a better version. That we'll do. And that's not the entire reason as well, right? I mean, it allows us to connect to over, I think, 2,000 apps yeah. right yeah. now. So even um, if we want to do everything natively, this already allows you uh, to connect um, uh, your favorite app through Sapier uh, with Clever Messenger. So that's already something that you can do. However, if you still would like to see that native integration happening, then just send us a message and we make sure that we develop that integration for you so that you don't really need Sapier. So that's basically something we wanted to do. Uh, this allows you to have some quick access to um, uh, those integrations. But do note that we do uh, uh, value the native integrations more. So this is something we still uh, uh, we'll pursue. Yeah, yeah. Pursue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. So uh, with Zapier, we have uh, currently a uh, few triggers, few actions. Of course, they will be. We will add more uh, along the way. 
uh, the version that you will have probably next week or in the next two weeks uh, will be something that you can already test. You can already connect uh, Zapier to uh, all the apps that are within it whenever you have a new subscriber, whenever there is a new tag. Uh, when is whenever there is a new tag inside your uh, your bots, mm -hmm. so these will be the first two triggers that will be released, and of course once for example there is a new tag or there is a new subscriber, you can actually send a flow, send the cards. You can actually do all the things that we provide from our API or easy inside Zapier, and additionally you can connect it to all your favorite uh, apps there on Zapier. So the first the first version should already be a good version that will let you do about. Uh, most of the tasks that you will that you will ever need with your bot. With that said, we will continue development on it, and this will also be a separate module. Again, a day for it, Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> New uh, that... was coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you should you should see some uh, more development there on Zapier as well, since yeah. it will be a, a block inside the development team itself. So, um, any idea uh, how you guys um, uh, over at the development are going to put this into Clever Messenger? Is it again going to be a card? Is it something different? Well, with Zapier, we have two things. Uh, you have triggers that will trigger inside Zapier automatically. So, whenever you have a new subscriber inside uh, your bot, for example, the automation will happen inside Zapier. So this, the whole setup, Stefan, will be set up inside Zapier itself. You create a trigger, for example, new subscriber from Clever Messenger, from your bot specifically. And when this happens, another action will happen inside it. Okay. Now, this will be automatically for new subscribers and for new tags, or for any tag, actually, for any new tag inside your system. Mm -hmm. Now, what can actually happen inside our, uh, our flow I mean, the flow composer for Clever Messenger is you can trigger a separate uh, Zap. So that will be on the next step where you will have a Zapier card that will say trigger a Zap. And you trigger whatever Zap you have inside your Zapier accounts. And that will trigger, it's like manually triggering automation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zapier. It makes, yeah, for me, I, I actually can see it. I can see it. I can picture it. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So actually, we used to we had the template for triggering a zap using the webhook cards, yeah. but uh, yeah, I think that was a little bit hard for uh, for the non technical yeah, yeah for the non technical yeah. guys. Uh, that will actually help you along the way. Of course, everyone would want something automatic, and this is why we're starting with the uh, auto triggers. For, okay, cool. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the question. Yeah. Well, someone's got to ask the questions around here. <laughs> Someone else is doing it. <laughs> nice Q&A, <Next>. guys. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice one. So uh, with that said, we wrap up with Zapier. Now, as Stefan mentions, we, that means that, I mean, having Zapier means that we're not forgetting about native integrations. And this is something that you are seeing here in the slides right next to Zapier. We have the native, which is integration. A lot of guys and a lot of, I mean, Marketers, developers uh, use Google Sheets to uh, automate tasks in a simple way. And it only makes sense that you want to use Google Sheets also inside your bot so that you can automate uh, the tasks that you have uh, with Google Sheets already uh, from your uh, from your chatbots. Mm -hmm. So we've thought about a lot of scenarios and a lot of actions uh, with the Google Sheets. You will be able to do about Anything with the Google Sheet native integration from selections to updates to insertions. So you can actually select values directly inside your Google Sheet from your bot and uh, put this data back inside the card or inside any piece of information that you want to, uh, to give to your uh, subscriber. You can use it to update certain uh, rows or values inside your Google Sheets. Sheets. I think we, we, we have been doing first. research, sorry to intervene, mm -hmm. but, uh, I think we have been doing our research for this one as well, right? Uh, yeah. I think we uh, are currently the only, once we release this, uh, we are the only uh, chatbot creator marketing suite that allows you to manipulate almost every endpoint from Google Sheets, right? Yeah, yeah. you can even use uh, um, functions that are inside uh, Google Sheets itself, for example, mathematical 
action formulas. You can use any about any formula that's available inside Google Sheets. You can pass that right inside Clever Messenger uh, and uh, perform that particular formula, and you get back the results. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty powerful. Yeah. yeah. Man, I can uh, I can see a lot of people actually using this. I mean, this yeah. uh, will give you so much power because you get now you get the entire uh, technology of spreadsheets behind uh, your chatbot, which actually um, yeah, you're only limited by your imagination, right? I, I really like that sentence because <laughs> it allows you to do so much more than uh, just a, a still Q and A chatbot or just a, a yes and no chatbot or anything um uh, in that regard mm -hmm. uh, for, yeah i think i showed it off before but i did create like a um a template before right it's called uh clara clairvoyant the, <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so that uh, actually is uh built on both uh integromat and google sheets where it uh captures the the, the birthday of uh, the person and calculates their uh, horoscope uh, their numerology and all that stuff and uh, it's based with a single integration to Integromat, Integromat and then all these bells and whistles to Google, Google Sheets. And then again, the same, uh, the same thing going back to Clever Messenger, reporting everything back to the end user. Uh, right now we can basically skip. If I were to uh, have access to this uh, native Google Sheet integration already, I would probably have a way, way easier time in developing such a bot, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not only that's what you get also the overview. I mean, working yeah. with Integromat or Zapier and Google Sheets is a little bit uh, a hard task because yeah. you're losing the variables overview and putting them back inside the bot. Makes sense, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if any of the community members use that uh, clairvoyance uh, bot, but that very was a very really good one. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually cool right i mean uh, it actually calculates your your horoscope um i've actually uh, picked the data from uh from these numerology websites because numerology how it works uh, it actually uh, calculates um, a number from your birthday or name uh, from one to nine and based on uh, those outcomes you can actually uh, get like a uh, a description like a like a Your prediction or whatever that applies yeah. to that specific number and usually it uh it works works, it yeah. works. So yeah. it's, uh, it's kind of cool so that uh, you can have your in this case this bot is actually predicting more about your personality and all that stuff yeah uh, i've actually i've actually used this to predict the date of birth of someone oh, really? I've just, cool. yeah i've i've asked them about their personality about what they liked what they didn't, they didn't like uh -huh. uh, asked about the month and the year where they were born, and I used that uh, uh, that numerology stuff to predict the day where they were born. Oh, that's cool. Because nice. that would fall on that set of personalities. Yeah. And that works. It works. Yeah. It works. Oh, nice. I mean, you should probably do and perform this on stage. You <laughs> get a lot of money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's scary, actually. It's yeah. scary when you predict the day and you never met that person. You don't know. Uh, that's cool uh, yeah nice. awesome quick shout out to simon lewis thank you for joining dude <laughs> awesome so uh last thing we will talk about is the team roles now we had a lot of requests about team roles as well especially from jody cena yeah <laughs> you're working with joe cheers <laughs> i hope that you're still doing well and safe so uh team roles have been asked a lot uh that means that you can invite other team members to your chess bot so that you can uh, collaborate on your bots. We know that bots are uh, getting bigger and bigger in terms of scope, in terms of uh, uh, size or and what they deliver. Or support. And, yeah, yeah, indeed, and support as well. So it only makes sense that a whole team needs to manage uh, your bots and with the team role, that's exactly what you'll be able to do. You can invite team members to manage different aspects of your bots. Now, what is special and something that is not seen yet in the industry or the other competitors is that you can set your own custom permissions, mm -hmm. meaning that you can create, uh, you create your own role. For example, you create an analyst role or a support role. We, uh, what, that will, if I understand uh, Abby correctly, 
We actually already give uh, a couple yeah, yeah. pre-made roles already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we give some pre-made roles, for example, uh, supports, just like I mentioned here, uh, analysts. These are pre-made and have access to only parts of your bots, for example, only have access to the live chat or only have access to the analytics or only have access to your to your flows to edit them or view them. Now, this is something that I would say is standards in the in the industry. Everyone is coming up with uh, predefined roles that give access to certain scopes of your bots. Now, what is special is that you can create your own roles that can have uh, custom permissions. So you can create a role that will have access to the live chats and to the analytics, just that, and they will not be able to access anything else. You can have one role that has, for example, the live chats and the flows and that will be it you can also have a role that we only have to do uh, with the configuration so they can only access to your boss configuration if they need to refresh permissions for example or whatever or change your welcome message or your greeting message stuff so probably people that manage your uh, your your uh, the first image that you get from your from your bot so again, just like Stefan mentioned, imagination is your only limit. <laughs> so you get a set of permissions, uh, you can assign them or mix them however you actually want. And there's there, uh, right now we do have mm. like no, no limit at all as to how many uh, people you can actually add to your team, right? We don't have a limit yet, but there, there's, there will be a limit, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Now, of course, beta, beta, beta stages always uh, come up with uh, their bonus, which is you can have unlimited stuff for us to test for you to also take use of that. But once we get to a more mature stage of the team roles, we will think eventually about uh, limiting the team roles unless uh, we get a different management decision uh, with this. Yeah. Uh, I've I've had a demo for uh, for this uh, team role stuff, and uh, to be honest, I'm pretty pretty amazed with what I've seen. Um, very very elaborate, and um, yeah, it allows you to do uh, so much more. What Fauzi actually just uh, told you, uh, to, uh, revealed to you guys. Um, it's I think it's really uh, I think it's the most elaborate team role feature that. Uh, we've seen in this uh, in this market. If we take a look at our competitors, they're very, very limited. Uh, they come only with pre-made things. Um, uh, they don't give you the, um, the ability to actually uh, um, uh, change or shift uh, certain uh, permissions. And um, I think there's no real real admin panel where you can actually manage those. Uh, That's exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's really giving you a good overview. And because you can actually add unlimited pages with, uh, uh, with Cloud Messenger, you can actually specify, you invite a new team member, you can actually specify to which uh, uh, page you would like to apply the permissions to. So let's say you have 100 pages added in Cloud Messenger and this team uh, guy needs to be uh, added to three particular pages. You just type in those page names, you click on those pages and boom, it's already done. So it's really, no. Really awesome to see. I found I found that one of the most uh, amazing features because this is going to be even more important for agencies uh, as well in the long run, uh, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, very, yeah. very cool feature that's coming up there as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that is the case. I've been also amazed by uh, what Abhishek, shout out to Abhishek here, mm -hmm. produced in the Team Rose uh, feature really elaborate stuff and we can't wait to get that into uh, production so that you guys can actually feel it. Mm -hmm. Always test things before you do guys. We would like you, I mean, if it was to us, we would want you to test them at the same time that we test them. But unfortunately it, it can never be the case. <laughs> so I look forward when you can actually, uh, when you can try these test team roles. Uh, uh, feature so so far you've seen that we have some pretty big uh, features that are about to be released mm -hmm. and i can only see the value that they they will all bring to your uh, chatbots 
So just, uh, I know you, you are not mm. a fan of giving ETAs or estimations. <laughs> can, you, can you give us like, uh, like hope, like, uh, like some, some dot on the horizon we can look forward to? Yeah, so we've already discussed the team days. Now, because a feature is ready, doesn't mean that it will be released right away. Mm -hmm. Meaning that if web views is ready, uh, it will be uh, announced next Monday. I mean, if we have used and Zapier are both ready this week, let's, this is just an example, they will not be both announced next Monday. Yeah, it's, uh, it's spread out, right? And yeah. there may even be, uh, be an integration in between me uh, because we might want to do some internal testing or just want to yeah. do, but it's already safe to say that most of these uh, features are if we look at our our uh, sprints, then uh, these features are already on their end, yeah. uh, their end process uh, in our sprints. So this week we will already see some beta. I mean internal beta from from uh, from the team, and next week it will probably be ready for production. But that doesn't mean that we see it live, guys. <laughs> you will have to let, to wait a little bit more so that we keep the synchronization of the team days. What used to happen is we used to, we used to have, we used to work on certain features and they were already, they were already under the same week. And we had to announce in the same week, like five new features or six new features. And then the next weeks that come after that, you, you don't see anything. Yeah. Because we were just too excited to announce things for you guys, since we know that uh, the value that they will bring but to keep consistency of stuff, uh, we will have to go to go that that route. And the previous way actually also um, um, was a little bit rushed, right? So that also yeah. cost a little bit more bugs. This way we can actually take a little bit more time, and yeah, um, yeah it's a, it's a better way for for us to uh, to proceed. Uh, that's something we have been doing right now as well uh, for the last two months is getting more organization into the entire uh, team, into the entire company as well. Um, and that's why we are coming uh, up with these, these theme days as well, which basically translates uh, on what we have been working on for the last um, uh, couple of weeks as well. So essentially for a lot of these things, we actually created a buffer um, as there is another big change that is something uh, we're not going to reveal years yet, but uh, there's not a big change coming up uh, as well. Um, and that's why we are also building up that buffer so that we com can continue to release uh, um, yeah, stuff, valuable stuff on each and every uh, theme mm -hmm. day uh, we got going on as well. Um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff, uh, some secret stuff as well we cannot talk about. <laughs> but, uh, it's, uh, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, I guess that's that's it. Um, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to take a look i think we're yeah we're live according to my time we're live for 48 minutes um i guess that's uh that's way more than enough uh for this uh, first live mm. i really uh, look forward to continuing doing more of these lives each and every week um but again guys i just want to know something uh the, the chat has been very quiet there's not a lot of people on um we will do um our best to market the next lives a little bit uh, <laughs> more. But, uh, uh, there were a lot of people um, actually um, uh, responding to uh, last week, yeah for on last week but unfortunately yeah. we had to cancel that one um, but again uh, if you're on the, on uh, or seeing this on a, on a later um, on a later time again what do you guys want out of the next life is it training is it more q a is it just general chit chat um, I mean, I see value where you guys see the value. If um, you guys would like to see a training next, then we do definitely do a training. Uh, I know there are some talks uh, or um, re requests rather uh, about uh, doing the viral integration and showcasing mm -hmm. how that actually works. So that's something that we might put on our agenda. Um, yeah, so just uh, give us some more uh, strategies. I know that Wasili already mentioned, uh, show us uh, the uh, omni-channel strategy. This is something we can show. I can see Stanley. Hey, man, thanks for joining. He says, uh, Stanley is saying uh, that he enjoyed it. Uh, that's very good to hear. Cool, man. Uh, yeah. 
Mr. World Famous. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Uh, what do you guys want out of these uh next lives uh, we do got some times over for questions um and we are, are more than happy to uh, answer those but seeing that there's uh, not much of you guys on right now i'm not seeing a lot of questions coming so uh let's uh let the uh let's let the uh, live pick up uh for this request so that the, the guys and uh, probably girls here as well can start asking us uh, some more questions so that we can answer that as well. Um, again, guys, what do you guys want out of the next live? So very, very important question so that we can uh, be uh, of value, uh, continue to be of value each and every mm -hmm. live. Is there something you want to talk about still, uh, Fazi? Yeah, well, we had two propositions. If I mean, if we... Uh for the next uh, lives, which were either showcasing the one-time notifications or the upright that we were getting requests on. And uh, yeah, we just have to, to wait and see what the community's feedback is about that. I see that Stanley is mentioning training on how to get the customers. I guess this is for agency stuff, uh, Stanley. I'm not sure if you're talking about um, uh, getting a clients for agency or if you're just talking about customers in general for uh, your brand, then in between brackets, you state flyers and VSL, uh, video sales of the flyers. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, so if you can elaborate, then um, please do so I can uh, provide you a better answer. Um, but yeah, definitely hurt you. Training on how to get customers. It's something we probably can uh, can go over with uh with agencies uh as well um yeah so if there's no other questions then um i guess we can call this a day i'm i'm really hungry <laughs> i know that you are fasting uh Fauci, so how many more hours do you need to wait before you can uh, think so right now it's four uh so three hours and a half and i'm already feeling hungry as well so. Oh, man, we can all see it <laughs> your energy went like like very high and now it's like a drop in <laughs> good, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, just make sure you you get some uh, some good dinner that will at least make me feel uh yeah i'm, I'm gonna go for some chicken i guess I'm a, I'm a... <laughs> you know me. you like chicken you always get chicken hey it's... yeah chicken or vegan that's uh, basically yeah i know it's not uh it, it is a, a total different uh, thing, but uh, we either eat uh, chicken or something vegan, yeah. Or vegan, uh, like two extremes, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, just uh, taking Stanley right here. Um, you all have a great product, the best I've seen. Well, thanks, man. That really means a lot, Stanley. Uh, mm -hmm. Appreciate the cool feedback right there. Um, then he's saying something to let them know why they need both benefits and features. Cool, yeah, it's uh, basically on the sales page. Um, yeah, you are agency, I think I just checked. Um, so there is a lot of things you can actually uh, see in the in the sales pages. I'm going to do a lot more uh, training about this in the future as well. And we are going to share a lot more information on this as well. So it's really cool. Um, a video sales letter. I know what it is, a VSL, and I know what a video sales letter is. But if you want me to create a, a sales letter for you, a video sales letter, that's not going to happen. It's something, uh, or if you want tips, you can actually grab our current sales letter and grab the, the, the most benefits out of that and use that to record your very own. Not sure how I can be of service uh, shooting a video sales letter for you and your clients. Uh, once they are, uh, if they are going to work with you. So this is something you need to uh, consider. Um, anyways, hit me up, Stan. Uh, more than happy to uh, continue uh, in a private conversation with you about this and see how we can uh, help you better. If there's no more question, guys, then I think uh, I'm going to leave Fauzi to it. He needs some uh, well-deserved shut <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's still a few calls to to get after this with the team, so it's it's still a long day here. 
Uh, it's been really good to to get back into the live sessions. Stories it feels like uh, we're up to date again with the community, and we're getting that uh, that touch, which yeah. is very much needed. That touch but, one, yeah. I think yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, it does, does, does uh, more or less give you energy. I think it's going yeah. to... Uh, it was a bit rusty again because it was uh, was a long time ago before we actually started, right? Or uh, yeah. had the last uh, live, I should say. Um, but I'm I'm really looking forward to do this each and every Wednesday. Uh, and we can alternate this, right? I mean, yeah. um, we started today with a Q&A. Then next week, we can actually do a training. Then from mm -hmm. now, we can do another Q&A uh, again. Uh, keep this like a standard thing so that people can just hop on um and i think yeah. about something to do uh in regard to notifications uh marketing uh the the lives a bit more so that we get way more people on because if we get more people on it's actually way way more fun and then we can actually have that um dynamic interaction with the community uh we we've seen before as well mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. But that's that's that, uh, Fazi. I just want to uh, give uh, give my thanks to you. Thank you for. Thank you as well. Thank you guys also for being there for getting through this uh, session, <laughs> and we we'll catch up on next Wednesday. Uh, for the time, I think we might add a poll for the community to decide on uh, time. But this yeah. is something that we need to discuss. But for sure, I think we'll be there next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, till then. Uh, good luck, guys, with your bots uh, building. And if you have any questions, any concerns, then feel free to contact us. By contacting us, meaning contacting support. <laughs> 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 uh, through support through support at clevermessenger.com. Uh, touch point with us will be on Wednesdays. Yeah. So there we will get uh, all together. So enjoy your days, guys. Thanks for attending. Thank you, Stefan. And uh, good luck for you guys. I appreciate it, man. Thanks, yeah. guys. Uh, talk to you all later. And I promise you, the uh, next next week we have another T-shirt giveaway again. Um, today there is no giveaway. Fauzi uh, <laughs> is just too tired. Just look at this guy, man. He's <laughs> way too tired. He cannot <laughs> handle a giveaway. So uh, it's uh, it's something we are going to do uh, uh, next week. Uh, again, I want to thank you all for uh, joining. And uh, yeah, if you got any feedback uh, about this live question, um, anything what you would like to see about the or in the future lives we're going to do, then just uh, leave a comment on this live and we are going to um, make it happen. All right, Fazi, thanks. Um, guys thank who've been watching or are going to watch, thank you again and uh, bye for now, guys. <laughs>